Now today we'll be talking about two different things. Number one is the brake booster. Now that lives on the firewall and bolted to it is the master cylinder. You'll see one fastener right there on the left. There's another fastener on the right. And I'll give you a different screenshot on a separate vehicle. But essentially they all look the same. You have this round device which is the brake booster and of course the master cylinder. We'll do a leak test and I'll show you exactly how you can track down, verify that's working correctly. Number two is this guy right here. This is really a vacuum hose. This is the brake booster vacuum line. This runs from the intake and it runs, if you follow it, it runs all the way to the brake booster. It looks a little cramped, but typically they're not too hard to uh, replace if you need to. There's a check valve in here. Sometimes the valve goes and you may think you have a faulty booster, but in fact, it's just the valve. So I'll show you on how you can track down and see if you have a problem with your vehicle. Now there are two tests we can quickly perform inside the vehicle. The first one is starting the vehicle and then place your foot on the brake and hold it down. Turn off the vehicle and we want to see if there's a change in the pedal height. Now the pedal should be completely steady but if the pedal does rise, that's a very good indication that the booster may be faulty. So let's try that test, and then we'll try something else. Okay, so now I'm going to press the brake pedal and turn off the vehicle, hold down the brake for 30 seconds. Now it's been approximately 30 seconds and there's no change in the height of the pedal. Now, if in your case, if the pedal does rise, if you feel the pedal rising, then that's a very good indication that the booster is faulty and it needs to be replaced. Now, one thing you may want to check is where the master cylinder meets the brake booster, that seal. Let's go ahead and check that. Now, this is where the brake fluid lives on the vehicle. This is the master cylinder and connected again to it is the brake booster. Now, what you want to do, let's say, for example, you just purchased a used car, a lot of miles. It's very, very old. You want to make sure that this connection point where the, where the uh, master cylinder meets the booster is in good shape. As you can see, this is not moving around. This is completely solid. But nonetheless, you just want to check that. It's remote. Chances are you won't have a problem here but it's always a good idea to check because if you do have a break here, then that's the source of your vacuum leak. You just want to tighten this down and you'll be perfectly fine. But again, in this case, we're, we're okay in that sense, but there's another test we can do to verify that brake booster is faulty or if it's in good shape. Now take a look at this vacuum line. Again, this is one complete hose that I'll remove in a moment just to show you what it looks like. Runs from the intake all the way to the booster. Now in the middle of the hose is a valve. Now what we want to do is take a vice grip. So as you can see, I have vice grips with, with uh, this is just a rubber hose I cut up so it won't pinch, won't pinch and destroy this line. But what we're, what we're going to do is clamp down on the, uh, on the vacuum line here and get back in the vehicle. And I'll show you one more thing. Now when you clamp this down, you want to clamp it before the check valve. So in between the booster and the valve. So we'll probably clamp it over here. You don't want to clamp it after the valve because that's going to uh, defeat the purpose here. So again, we'll clamp it right about here, start the vehicle, and just check one more thing. And I also wanted to show very quickly that I did disconnect this harness connector. This keeps track of the fluid in the master cylinder. If it gets too low, then a light would turn on the uh, dashboard letting me know that I'm low on fluid. But I just disconnected it so I have more working room. So again, just pinch down the hose. Okay. Now we're going to turn off the vehicle, wait 30 seconds. Okay, so it's been a little over 30 seconds and what you want to do is press down on the brake pedal and the pedal should go pretty far toward the floor and I have a tape measure a tape measure here just to sort of give us a better view on what's going on here so press it all the way down let's say roughly a little hard to see but uh, let's say roughly just three inches let go depress again and I can simply feel with my foot that now this is a lot firmer and also the pedal height is higher again third time 
and now I'm at four inches. So this is what you want to see. This is I'm pressing down pretty hard, and this thing is not really doing anything. It's just rock solid. Now, if you do this test, and the pedal keeps on going toward the floor, it's not gradually rising. The booster is faulty, and you'll need to replace it. Now, if you do need a guide on how to replace the booster, I'll include a link in the description box below. It's something we did roughly a year ago. Not only do we show the booster, but also on how to replace the master cylinder. But that being said, there is one more leak test we can do. And that's testing this guy right here. This is the vacuum line that runs from the intake. It's one complete line again to the booster. And the first thing is, well, Go ahead and disconnect it from the booster, start the vehicle, and we should have vacuum. Now I'll try my best to keep a steady hand, just so you can get a good view. Now what I tend to use is a very, very long vice grip, something that has a pointy tip. These are very cheap, as you can see, look how beat up they are, but they, are, they do a perfect job on getting access to, look how deep it is in the engine bay. So all that I'm going to do, let me first clamp it on, and I'll give you another view. Okay, so now I'm on it, on the uh, clamp here, just pull it back, it should be good enough, oh, there we go, okay, see how that is moved, and then pull this off, and there you go. Now we'll start the vehicle, and we should have vacuum on this end of the hose. Now as you can clearly hear, this has vacuum. Now if I put my thumb over the end, you can hear the engine speed changes. So this is something that you just want to check. Now if you don't have vacuum here and you need to replace the hose, you just disconnect it from here and quickly replace it. So if you do need to change the hose, simple enough, clamp this guy down. Whoops. I'm sorry, I sort of, uh, don't mean to be rushed here, just started pouring. But I want to wrap this up and show you guys on how you can do this. Okay, and this just comes out. That's it. So that's how you perform a leak test. You can really verify that booster is in good shape. Also check that vacuum line. If you need a guide on how to test the master cylinder, we have a separate video showing on how to do that. Also very simple, use a tape measure. It's quite easy to diagnose if you have a problem with that. I hope I didn't rush through this. It just started pouring here. Uh, and then I, yeah, I don't have a garage, so I didn't want to get soaked. But that being said, it looks like we got every point across.